What's up, everybody? Uh, it's time for another studio update. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, and yeah, this is another studio update. This was me shooting a video while I built a rack for this green screen. Um, I So one of the things that I, I use a green screen for very often is shoot and review videos. And there's no review video today. So instead, what I thought I'd do is show you the screen that reviews <laughs> get shot in front of. The screen behind me in this uh, in this video is actually the screen that all the intros for most of the videos for the last eight years were shot in front of. But instead of having it on that rack, because that rack take up tons of room in the old small studio office space, um, I had it on uh, the wall, just like tacked up basically with thumbtacks. But I had this frame for it. Um, so in the interim, I'm shooting lots of like the green screen stuff. I'm trying to avoid doing it if I can because the audio is god awful. It's not great, even with lav mics, with nice Sennheiser lav mics. It's not great being able to like shooting in this room just because the audio bounces terrible, even full of stuff. Um, so I wanted to make a mobile uh, green screen that I could put in the small office, and that's what this is. Um, so if you haven't noticed, uh, I am rolling up a green screen or I've just rolled up a green screen. I ran up and grabbed some lumber the screen itself. Didn't have a rack. I wanted to do some take one I could take out and pull down. So I went and bought a four foot dowel, um, two pieces of, uh, just eight foot, um, one by, I think it was one and a half by three, um, like framing stud. And these are just like rough studs. So the idea here was I would just basically build two standing arms that I could put that dowel through, haul them out with an auger. Um, so I cut these down to, or sorry, they're eight foot boards. I cut them down to six foot boards. So I take two feet off of them. Um, actually, no, I think I took 18 inches off of them. Uh, and then I was going to use that to make um, just angle braces for them. And then some loose uh, off cut um, two by like three quarter inch uh, plywood that I had for feet. So I could brace them and then just auger out a one inch hole for that piece of MDF and be ready to rock and roll. Uh, so you can see here, I've taken those down. I'm just cutting six inch uh, edges. And then um, those six inch sort of like, uh, like, like off cuts will get cut at 45 degrees with my circular saw. Uh, and this is just, you know, I, I measure everything basically. So taking a six inch uh, form off and then um, making like flat feet to, to put on with it too. So those are going to be the flat feet, the two flat feet that will go like just get drilled into the um, the plywood bases. And here I am just measuring off those six inch slots and then I'll cut them at 45 degrees. I'll just turn my saw and, and cut them off. Um, and the idea here was you can make anything with this. Honestly, I was thinking about making a camera stand this way too uh, for reviews in the future. I might actually use this for a camera stand, just get a piece of um, like another piece of dowel. Uh, and get a webcam that can go over a table to have a top-down camera and try filming that way. I have some ideas about that too. So the stand, like these legs might get used for more than one thing. And here I'm just cutting a 45 degree angle uh, for the braces. And <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember what side I've done it on. I was listening, I'm like, I could just go stand on the other side and I do <laughs> like a moron to make these things. Um, cutting braces. And then just double measuring because I'm so paranoid that I'm going to cut it wrong and then have to go get more lumber. That's the one thing when you're using like a fixed amount of lumber, you just go get two boards. Um, yeah, you, 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 you get very paranoid about getting your measurements right. So I'm always like double measuring everything to make sure it all gets cut properly. Um, and this is like the boring part of me just cutting all the wood, getting these feet made. And if you wanted to make a brace for lighting or for basically anything, um, it's super easy to do. You can usually get away with just using one board to do it. A circular saw and then just a driver and some construction screws you can build damn near anything you can think of <laughs> i might actually paint these black actually too i have lots of leftover black paint from um painting the gaming table and painting the small office which you guys are going to see in the next video uh that small office is as of today basically done i gotta throw smart up on the walls uh but the getting the, the the place empty with chase last weekend gave me a, oh man <laughs> the opportunity to basically get the whole front office finished just feeling really good i can have two productive spaces while i finish off this room um yeah just finish this last little six inch slab and then i'll clamp these boards auger out the where the um where the the postal is gonna go with my drill 
I'm just measuring where I want those so they'll be in the same place on either side. Because the last thing you want is you don't want the feet to be off center then all of a sudden, because you've basically taken the hole and put it in the wrong spot or put it on an angle. Uh, and then I go grab my drill and probably a fresh battery because I, I could not remember. I like to always have one battery for my, my tools on the on the charger and I couldn't remember <laughs> if the one from the drill had been in the charger or not or which one I put in. So I think I'm probably fighting with the charger here for a second. And then, yeah, come back and put a, um, a circular like auger bit on and just drill this thing out. Punch a hole in it all the way through. And this is usually meant for doing doing not one and a half inch thick things. <laughs> I drop my bit like a moron, <laughs> and then I have to really lean into it. Is it starting to starting to starting to gas up there? I could definitely smell campfire for a second there. I don't know why my bit keeps falling out. I guess I'm probably trying to push through through too hard. That's coming loose. So I didn't lock it in like a moron. But there's the first one done, and then it's on to the next one. And then I got this bit sorted out. <laughs> I think I had definitely um, not locked it in that first time, and I'm measuring out and I'm getting ready to punch another hole in the um, the second standee. Just making sure it's in the same spot as the first one, and then watch how much faster I punch this hole. This is I <laughs> this is what happens when you realize I'm pretty sure I had it set to driver, not drill, like a moron. Um, and I just like whoop, just punch that one out. No problem. Practice makes perfect. Um, and then it's just collecting the pieces up and getting these ready. So I'm just gonna tack it in the bottom piece here real fast. You can see I got my two braces. I'm gonna hold this up. I just grabbed the ladder actually, um, so I can just extend like and keep this thing on. I think I grabbed some pump clamps. Looking for my pencil because I dropped it on the ground. And just marking out where I want everything. Um, I find if I do some kind of like actual markings on everything that I get it lined up a lot straighter um, and I will realize at one point during this video that I have cut one of these braces I think too long or I picked I think what happened was I measured six inches on one side and there was like seven or eight inches on the other side and I angle cut the wrong side um, for one of these braces and it's gonna piss me off but I pre sync my screws just so that I can throw some glue in there and then tack the foot on the bottom and I'll put the braces on afterwards and I got it all Clamped in, and just throw that guy in up against the edge. I'm gonna give you something to push up against. And then zip it in, let's tack down. And then I just bang in with some glue and screws, the braces. It, I mean, this thing's not gonna be load-bearing, this is literally just to keep this thing standing up. <laughs> it probably doesn't need this level of construction, but I couldn't not, I guess, is the way I would say it. I just had to do it this way. Make sure it was tough. I flip it over. And then sink in two more on the other side. And then just repeat this process for this side of the frame. And this way, once you get an idea in your head and you can't stop, <laughs> this is basically where I'm at at this point. And by gluing and string, it'll stay exactly where I want it. And that's number one done. And it's on to number two. So if I'm being honest, these kinds of projects have really helped me, I don't know, just shift the weight of my <laughs> um, uh, mental stress, I think. More than anything else, getting this uh, back warehouse organized, just making things, you know, especially at a whim like this where I'm like, I really want this green screen to be able to move around so I can record wherever I want to be able to record, take it different places. 
yeah, it's just, it feels good to make something. You can see here, this is the one brace that I definitely cut the wrong length, and I don't notice until I flip it over, and I'm like, what in the hell is happening here? I put it down, and I'm like, what? Wait, what? What? Hang on. No. Wait, what? I'm gonna put the feet on this, and then, <laughs> yeah, I notice it's leaning in like two seconds. Um, but yeah, making things has always been like therapeutic for me. Um, and being able to share that with you guys is yeah, the moment where I'm like, what in the, wait, hang on, wait, what is, no, no. And I just cut a new one. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself in this moment. I'm so glad you guys got to see this part where I like, <laughs> I clearly just flipped over the wrong side. I'm so mad. Um, but yeah, making stuff feels good. Uh, it, taking control of your space, making stuff, putting stuff together. I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive about everything. Having a space where I can... <laughs> I'm like, why did I make this so sturdy? <laughs> so bad, just throw the piece away. <laughs> um, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Uh, having people into the space too and watching it develop has felt really good. Um, and then just having like these two front areas where I can kind of record what I want to make when I want to make it and experiment a little bit. I've been forcing myself to like do everything differently. You'll notice like different intros, different music, just playing around with stuff. I was in such a rut of just doing stuff the same way all the time um, that I'm just trying to like be excited about making stuff again and having a new space does that for me. Having a new space where you can be creative, you can sit down and do stuff. It really does, I think, make me feel like I can make more and different interesting things. So this video is kind of like an example of that, right? Like I just threw the camera up. I knew I wanted to make these, um, these, uh, you know, basically like stands for the screen screen. You guys have already watched videos, like review videos of um, a couple of books that I used to make, like I've made with that green screen. And yeah. And, and it's been cool to be able to just sort of like take a space and make it the way I want to operate inside of it. So yeah, I gotta say a huge thanks for everybody that has like just been following along and watching when I go. I, I gotta say I feel a lot better. Like I just, I feel um, encouraged and happy and you know, you can obviously see that probably in the content of me making stuff and just kind of going along through my day and um, getting stuff set up the way I want it so that I can keep bringing you these kinds of things. Uh, I think a good example of a video recently that is me in that mindset is me and Jay sitting down with those Nova Battletech books um, and me and Chris sitting down and talking about his business and his store. And I'm going to be making more of that stuff, I think, going forward. So, yeah, uh, you guys can watch me make the rest of this thing. But that's all I really wanted to say. I just want to update you guys on how I'm feeling and how the studio is going and generally where everything's at. That's how you do it. Thanks everybody. Another crazy project. There's how you would make, I don't have a mic on, I just did this. But there's how you make a stand for your extra green screen you don't have a stand for when you get hit with a manic episode. That's <laughs> Gaming.